letting go or, or changing how you do things is, is a scary thing. And asking people, even though it's ultimately for the greater good, changing my group to be more accepting of other people is ultimately a good thing. Can, can, I, can I ask a little bit, like, how do you create that? Com- you know, you were talking about creating a community of belonging within the student body. Like, what kind of things can you do for that? Because I've talked to people outside of college who have been in college. Uh, like, uh, my wife, she went to, um, like, a, a community college. So, it wasn't this big college. Where I think back to college, and I don't know if you feel like this, Tim, because you're, you're still you're still in it. You're in that kind of environment. It's awesome. <laughs> But I miss it. I miss being able to go to a class, seeing a group of people, and you could kind of be like a drop that, you know, a drop of water that goes into that other drop of a big bowl of water, you know, where you're like, oh, I'm connected to this one now. And then class is over and you go to pole vault practice. And then that drop of water gets sucked into this other one. And it felt like when I was there, I didn't have to wear a mask. I didn't have to play a character. I didn't have to be this guy. I could just be myself. And you could go from these groups to groups to groups within this giant group called college and just feel completely comfortable and free and outside of college now it's it's hard for me to find that and i wish it existed <laughs> you know like with and i don't and maybe it's just within the community you know i think some people find it maybe with kids and their and their kids start doing sports or something like that but have you talked to people about how to do that potentially outside of college or what do you do to the people who to create that community within the student body too? I think, I think the first thing, uh, the first thing I always ask groups to do is to reflect on when did you, because belonging is a difficult thing to, to define when I was first starting this work over there. I know it's a thing. I know it's a feeling, but but how do I define the feeling? And so I start by going through a lot of exercises with people to get them to reflect upon when did they feel like they belong. And I use some examples um, from my own uh, from my own experience to kind of get their thought process moving and, and get them to reflect on when did you feel like you belong. Okay, and they start giving those examples, and then we break that down and we say, okay, what was what was it about that experience that felt supremely comfortable or relaxing or relieving or whatever, um, whatever the case is, and then once they've broken that down to what was it about that experience, we start to think about, okay, how do you create that? If you felt it and you know what it feels like. How can you create that? How can you emulate that for for other people? And depending on where that conversation goes, then we oftentimes uh, start to talk about the practical things of of event planning, specifically around like, is your location wheelchair accessible? How far away is your location? If someone didn't have a car, how would they get there? Um, do you have an accessible bathroom? Because if you're going to have a three-hour event, you're going to have to use a bathroom at some point in time. Um, and so I think you move from the, you get them to reflect on the feeling, you get them to start thinking about, okay, how could I, to relate back to what you said about being the change you want to see, okay, how can I create that for someone else? If I know what those feelings are, how do I, then reciprocate or share that with someone else. And once we've moved past that, it's okay, what does this look like in a practical sense? What kind of behaviors do I have to change? What kind of physical barriers do I have to remove in order to create this environment? Is it, do you, have you found that that's hard for people to do, to change what's, whatever's within them to create the belonging? I, I think it is because... Um, I think it is because people don't like to change. Change is scary. Um, letting, go, because to, to truly create belonging, like we talked about, the group has to change itself to welcome in others and letting go of parts of who we are. And I don't know if you've experienced this as you um, transition through your experience, particularly with pole vault. Um, 
Well, there's times you're sick of it. It was a huge part of who you were for for a really long time. Oh yeah, and I'm not I'm not saying I I hate pole vault by any stretch. I love it actually, and I know it's it's created this conversation with you actually because without pole vault, I wouldn't have gone to NDSU, and I wouldn't have gone. You know, I wouldn't have went to grad school for sure. And you no. know, so yeah, there's so many gifts from it. But it, I but when I was so, yeah when I was, as it as it's taken on it for a while, you had it from the the athletes land, and the, I'm the one. And I'm the one jumping high and using big poles and bending them in half and launching myself. Right. <laughs> um, uh, and then as that changes, letting go or, or changing how do you do things is, is a scary thing. And asking people, even though it's ultimately for the greater good, changing my group to be more accepting of other people is ultimately a good thing. <laughs>